Hey everyone, I'm Eddie. And I'm Alex. Today we're going to break down our 10 favorite spots in Asheville, North Carolina. If you enjoy the video, remember to hit that like and subscribe button. Number 10, horseback riding. Horseback riding is the perfect method for exploring an area's natural surroundings in a unique way. We try to visit local trails on each of our trips. This time, we headed over to the Wolf Laurel Stables, about 45 minutes outside of downtown Asheville. This leisurely stroll leads you through the mountains of the Wolf Laurel Preserve and allows for a neat alternative to hiking through the woods. The rocky terrain does not allow for any trotting or cantering, so if this is a must in your horseback riding adventures, the Wolf Laurel Tour may not be for you. Number nine, downtown. Downtown Asheville is an adorable, tiny hub for food, shopping, and nightlife. Everything is easily accessible and walkable. Here you can find local boutiques, breweries, bars, and restaurants. One of our favorite spots was Dobra Tea. Head over to this chill shop to try one of their hundreds of teas, grab a snack, and hang out. Number eight, gardens. The Botanical Garden of Asheville is a nice little hidden gem. A short drive from downtown, this green space features half a mile walking trail and over 600 species of Appalachian plant life. Alex and I visited this spot before a tour and it was the perfect way to spend some spare time. The paths are beautiful and wind through the trees, up rock features and alongside a gorgeous creek. It was a great place to explore and take some photos. The park is open from dawn to dusk and is completely free to enter. Number seven, bar and brewery hopping. Asheville is known as one of the best brewery cities in America. The incredible quality of the fresh water from the Appalachian Mountains has attracted dozens of new and old breweries to set up shops here in the city and surrounding area. Luckily, a good amount of these breweries are available within walking distance of your downtown hotel. Spend a night strolling around the town, sampling different beers that Asheville has to offer. Some of our favorite spots downtown included the Wicked Weed Brewery and Bramari Brewing Company. Number six, food tours. Along with becoming a renowned beer city, Asheville has also become known for its food. Take advantage of all the different options in one go by participating in a food tour. We decided on the Asheville Food Tours group and they took us to six different spots, including Zambra, the Gourmet Chip Company, Strata, the White Duck Taco Shop, and the French Broad Chocolate Lounge. Pro tip, do not make reservations for dinner later that night. You will not be hungry. Number five, Sierra Nevada Brewing. If you plan on driving a tiny bit out of your way to visit a brewery, Make sure that this one is on your list. Located just five minutes from the airport and 20 minutes from downtown, Sierra Nevada Brewing Company has set up a massive facility that contains a restaurant, gift shop, indoor and outdoor bars, games, a sprawling patio and gardens, and of course, the brewery. Guests can sit back and relax while sampling various beers, or they can freely walk through the second story halls with windows that overlook the entire brewing facility. Watch as their beer goes through fermentation all the way to packaging. The Sierra Nevada Brewery is a perfect place to spend an afternoon. Number four, Mount Mitchell. At 6,684 feet, Mount Mitchell is the highest peak of the Appalachian Mountains and east of the Mississippi. Accessible by driving through the scenic Blue Ridge Parkway, the journey alone is reason enough to visit this spot. The base of the peak has plenty of public parking where you can leave your car to go check out the views. A large steep ramp leads the way up to the viewing platform. Be sure to bring a jacket as the temperature up here is far colder than the area down below. Unfortunately, the entire mountaintop was covered in clouds during our visit, but we still found that the drive up made it worth the trip. Plus, it was pretty cool to say that we were walking through the clouds. Number three, hiking. One of the best things to do while visiting Asheville is hiking. There are tons of different spots and trails to choose from, but our favorite spot was Big Bald Mountain. Although long at around 13 miles round trip, 
the peak of Big Bald offers some stunning and unique views. Guests staying at the Wolf Laurel Resort can take a shortcut from their private parking area and take a much quicker hike to the summit. Number two, Biltmore Estate. A trip to Asheville would not be complete without a visit to America's largest privately owned home. This 178,926 square foot mansion sits on over 8,000 acres of property and is located only minutes from downtown. The property is huge, so be sure to wear your walking shoes and be prepared to set aside a good amount of time. Prices vary from $55 to $85 depending on the date you choose to visit. Some peak dates require reservations, so you may need to buy your tickets ahead of time. For a more in-depth look, check out our video on the Biltmore, linked below. Number 1. The Blue Ridge Parkway The Blue Ridge Parkway is one of the most beautiful roads in the United States. While on our trip, we drove a small portion of this highway from Asheville all the way to the top of Mount Mitchell. The road makes its way through the Appalachian Mountains and overlooks the sprawling landscapes below. The drive up to the peak includes rest stops, information centers, hiking trails, and even a restaurant. If you're visiting Asheville, this is a spot not to be missed. Did we miss anything? Would you change the order? Let us know in the comments below, and remember to hit that like and subscribe button.